Hello, today we will be doing this PWD ramp, ano? Sa sidewalk. Okay, let's start. Go to file, application, you know, new. Then click project. So we have new project. And then none lang tayo for template file. Okay, then click OK. Metric course, select. Okay, so first. We have to establish our floor. So floor lang muna yung gagamitin natin, no? Para simple for our sidewalk. And then go to architecture, tab, build panel, floor tool, drop down. Then select floor architectural. Okay. Then under modify, create floor boundary, additional contextual tab. We have mode panel, draw panel, work plane panel. And then as default for draw panel, selected posit pick lines. Then we also have as default boundary line, no? So for this example, for this tutorial, kuhanin lang natin rectangle tool. Okay, click. And then enter the starting point of the rectangle. Click lang tayo anywhere in the drawing area. And then drag your mouse. Enter the diagonal point of the rectangle. And then as you can see, meron tayong temporary dimensioning. So hanapin nyo lang sa width. 1,200, no? 1,200 is the minimum width of sidewalk no as per nbcp so click lang and then before time mag finish edit mode go to properties palette edit type and then under value naka 300 kasi no yung default thickness palta natin so click nyo si edit and then for thickness lagay natin 200 okay and then click okay apply okay so, thickness na is 200 na, no? And then, finish edit mode. Go to 3D view. So, ayan na po yung pinaka-sidewalk natin using floor tool. Okay, next. Go to project browser, floor plans, level 1. Double click. And then, select po natin yung floor. Ayan. Under modify floors, additional contextual tab, may mode panel tayo And then, we also have shape editing panel okay and then for shape editing panel can you look for add split line okay so add split line click make sure naka chain po kayo para continuous yung creation of your line pero kung ayaw mo pwede rin namang i-uncheck ano okay then lagay po tayo dito first point drag natin okay let's continue lang Okay, let's continue. Okay, and then go to 3D view. Ganyan na po itsura niya, no? Then select natin. Go to shape editing panel under modify floors additional contextual tab and then click modify sub elements. Okay. And then hover your mouse to this line, no? Hidden line. Click. If you will notice, meron po dyang value, no? Zero. And then if you want to modify, pwede ng ibang value ipalit natin. Pero for this example, click lang natin. Click hold drag yung arrow down. And then dire-direcho lang. Pagbaba niyan, may midpoint po. Pitaw. Then warning dialog will appear. Alam naman natin, no? may gumalaw lang ng konti. Meron lang dumikit. Kada elements, meron lang sasabihin si Revit. Okay? And then if you will notice, bumaba pareho, no? Even yung ilalim, so yung bottom, lang bumaba rin. So, gagawin natin, papaangatin po natin itong bottom. Then, stay lang yung ating nasa taas. Okay? Go to Properties Palette. Edit Type. And then, under Value, click pulin natin si Edit. And then, may variable column dito. May box po dyan under Function Number 2. Okay? Check lang natin. Okay, and then click OK, apply, OK. And then ito na po siya, yung simple na ating ramp for PWD. Okay, and then if you want to modify, balik lang tayo, project browser, floor plans, level 1. Okay, hover your mouse sa line na ito. 
if you want to increase yung length nito, no? So, hover mo lang dyan and then hit mo yung tab. Habang highlighted po, click. And then, click hold drag. Para ma-increase natin yung length, okay? And then, that's it. Meron na tayong ramp for PWD, okay? Using add split line and modify sub elements, okay? Pero nang galing kanino, kay floor tool, okay? So next, lagyan po natin ng curve, no? Go to file. Yan. New. Okay. And then, family. Bakit? Magkikreate po tayo ng new profile family ng curve. Yun kasing naan dito, under floor tool, yung slab edge. Pag nag-pick tayo, no? Dito sa corner, sa ilalim po pumapasok. As default. So gagawa tayo ng sarili nating profile, okay? So, under template file, kuha tayo ng metric profile. Kindly look for metric profile. Ito siya. Select and then click open. Okay. Under create tab, we have detail panel. And then may line tool dyan. Pwede mo i-click o kaya mag-type ka ng LI for keyboard shortcut. No? Lima India. Okay. And then for draw panel, line tool lang ako. Okay. Then dito tayo mag-pick, no? Sa so gitna, first point click. And then yung lalim natin would be 200, no? Pwede nyo hanapin sa dimension, temporary dimensioning, or just type 200. Okay. Click. And then kuhanin lang natin. I, I think it's 140. Yan, pwede na yan. And then 80, 145, any degree will do, any angle, no? And then close natin. Okay. So ito na itsura ng profile natin sa curb. And then let's save it. So go to file, save as family. Lagay ko lang curb. Yan. Since may curb na ako, ulitin ko lang. Override ko. Okay? And then click save. Yes ko lang. No? Do you want to replace the existing file? Yes ko lang. Kasi meron ako kanina. And then load into project and close tool. Click. Okay? Project 1 ako. Okay? Pinapapili kung saan project po ilo-load. No? Yung family. Project 1 check. Then click OK. Again, piliin ko si project 2. Yung project 1, yun po yung pinakita natin kanina na finished product. Ano? Then okay lang. Okay, so go to 3D view. Default 3D view. Architecture tab. Floor tool drop down under build panel. Then select floor slab edge. Okay, before time mag-click. Go to Properties, Edit Type, and then meron tayo dyang value under Profile Parameter, no? naka-default. So, yun yung kanina, yung slab edge na yun. And then, click natin, drop down. So, ito na po yung kinreate natin, no? niload natin na curve. Select, and then hit Apply, click OK. Then, click na natin. Automatic po, meron na tayong curve. And then yung ating new profile. Okay? So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Kung meron kang natutunan, share mo naman sa iba para matuto din sila. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, hit the bell button, and share. Thank you. God bless.